What's up guys, it's uh, CryptoSticks here and in this video we'll be showing you my Solana meme coin strategy. Now I feel like I have kind of made a good strategy for myself on how to find meme coins and how to detect rug pulls. So yeah, let's go. The first thing you want to do is set up your deck screener. So in order to set up the deck screener, we want to go into new pairs. We want to put the age to less than six hours, the liquidity to greater than 10K, and all the chains at the top, we put Solana. So now we have all the coins that have more than 10,000 liquidity and less than six hours since release. And now we just look through all the coins so what I like to do is I like to look at coins that have pictures on them. So for instance, if we look at Puss in Boots or something, all these coins are less likely to be rug pulls than the ones that are without the socials. Because basically how Deck Screener works is you can pay $299 for you to update your socials, so your Instagram, Telegram, and Twitter. Now obviously this isn't guaranteed, but it's like an extra safety step I like to add when I'm looking at coins. So if we just look at, let's say, I'll filter by age because I like to trade coins that are at least one hour old. I don't like to trade any of these because there's not enough volume and I can't really read the chart. So we'll look, we'll find one coin here. Um, let's see, let's go for Dr. P, let's just do this on five hours. So if we click into it, the first thing we look is if the chart's healthy. Now, there's ways to identify rug pulls by just looking at the chart. If it's just green candles going up, it's a rug pull. Okay, don't even invest in it because people will always take profits, whether it's a 1x, 2x, or 10x. People will take profits, which results in red candles because they're taking profits. The other thing we can look for is top traders. This looks healthy. See the way there's bought and sold transactions? That's very good. In some coins, you will see that it's just sold, but no bought. So I'll show you, for example, now. Let's see um, if I can find one for you. And uh, we go with Pedro. This one's fine as well. We'll look at a, one that I know is going to be a rug pull. Um, which one that I saw was a rug pull? Soul Search, I think, was one of them. Well, anyway, let's just look at Trippy Turtle for a minute. 34 minutes. This. This is a red flag. If you see sold and no bots, so that means that they got airdropped the tokens or they send them to a different wallet address. So if you see people selling, but they haven't actually bought anything, but they're just selling the token, that means they airdropped it to themselves. It's a typical way to rug pull. And also, if you look at the chart, it's literally the price is current. The current price is lower than when it launched so now this is isn't guaranteed to be a rug pull but it's just one of many ways of checking so once you've identified the chart and you think it's healthy so we'll go back to our dr pepe that we've seen um sorry we'll go here age so we like the way the chart looks next we want to do is check if liquidity is locked and mint authority is removed now there's two ways of doing this we can either go to rug check paste the contract address in and this will give us information as well so let's wait till it loads um, it will display the top holders which is good because radium is holding 28 percent and the top holders are 0.67 percent so this is a very good distribution we have a red flag though liquidity is not locked if the liquidity is not locked, stay away from the coin. I don't care what excuse you give me. If it's not locked, do not invest. You're going to lose your money. So never pay attention to this risk analysis score. It doesn't make sense. The next way we're going to do this is actually through Telegram. Now, I love using this. This is personally the way I check. We go to Soul Scanner. Make sure it's this one. It's a free bot. So if anyone's charging you for it, it's a scam. So once we go to Soul Scanner, this is the link. We want to paste in the contract address as well, and it'll show you all the information. So as you can see, the mint is off, but there's nothing about liquidity. So if you see it, another token I was looking for, liquidity is 100% burned. So we need to have these two. This is a gap, like this is, has to be there. 
So as you can see, liquidity is not locked for this one, so we're not investing in this. Another thing is airdrops. We would preferably want zero here, and that the dev wallet is around one soul, so they're not holding a lot. And as you can see, top 10% is 33%, which is a lot. For the other token, it's 18%. So we use these tools just to make sure if it's um, locked and the minatory is off. So once we've completed these checks, so one is the chart, two is telegram. Now, once we've checked the chart, rook check and soul scanner, next thing we do is check the socials. So if we go to Dr. Pepe, as you can see, there's no socials for this, which for me is a red flag. We need to have socials. So if we find another one here, let's just go back to deck screener, uh, cat GPT. As you can see, there is socials. So we want to check the website, the Twitter, and the things we look for on the website is, is it unique? Does it have good development? Like, can you tell that this was made that they put effort into it basically. So this one um, doesn't look the best for me. Their Twitter. Now this is a bit dodgy. Usually for coins, I would like for the Twitter, especially if it's a new coin to be created in 2000. So we're in April now. So 2024, I'd like to see that they joined. So what some rook pullers do is they buy old Twitter accounts to give them more credibility and they'll pump this coin They'll rug pull it, and then they'll change the name, change the picture, everything, and then rug pull on a different coin with a different name. So you gotta be wary of that. Make sure that they're posting regularly, like six hours. Yeah, they're active. So they're the two we wanna see as well. Now, once you have all this done, the third thing is obviously to look for an opportunity to buy. Uh, sorry, not the 13, the 14. Now to find the best entry is, if you know how to read charts, if we swap to market cap, there's always gonna be resistance at certain key levels, they're called. So if we go to a lower cap coin, let's do, for instance, let's just do this soulmates. There's gonna be resistance at the 100K market cap, 200K market cap, 500K, and then 1 million. That's usually where we'll find um, the most resistance on the chart. Now, obviously for new coins, they might not respect it, but if we go to something older, like let's say Plandemic, you will see that at key levels, the price will retrace. So we only want to buy when it's at a discount. We don't want to buy if it's at a high like here, we would not buy, we'd wait for a little pullback. So like here, we could have bought in. So if you see here, you can see the price went up, and it went down. So this would have been a good place to buy again. We never want to buy at a high because it minimizes our profits. So if we go to market cap here, you can see that the coin reached 400K and it went down. So it retested again 400K, went down, retested again, and it went down. So here it actually broke it, but then at 600K, it went down again. So Helping to read the charts is a good thing to have, especially if you come from like a Forex background or stocks. Crypto is the same, like there is chart patterns to it. So this is basically how I check for meme coins. Now, this is a quick run through. It's not like a full depth guide. I'll, f I'll be streaming, I think in the next couple of days. So, if you do have any questions, make sure you leave comments on this video and I'll, I'll answer all comments. So comment as much as you like and I'll answer any questions you have. Or if you want me to check for, like if you have a token in mind and you want me to check it, I'll give you feedback on it as well. And in the pinned comments, I'll leave a trading bot. It's called Trojan on Solana. It's the fastest and most reliable bot. I've used BunkBot before and it's slow and my transactions fail. But with Trojan on Solana, that's my number one bot, like that's the only way I trade. And I'll leave my link below. It gives you a 10% discount on trading fees if you use my link. Now it is an affiliate link, I'll be transparent, but it's the only way to get the 10% discount on fees. So yeah, if you liked the video, like, subscribe, 
and comment. If you don't understand something, comment. I will answer it in the best way I can. Thank you, guys. Peace.